Right, we're here at Boreham Wood, uh, Saturday afternoon with Wanderers manager Mark White. Mark, how have you picked everybody up after the disappointment of Tuesday night then? That's first question. Well, do you know what? We laughed it off really Thursday morning. I think that was the strategy. Like We, we looked at the goal back, the, the sucker punch, and it was in, it, it's so in, uh, fortuitous, if that's the right word, in terms of the way the throw happened, where the, where the ball pitched in the middle of the box, and it was waist tight and all this stuff. And... I just said, listen, sometimes that's the, the, the nature of the game is that that was that map, really. That was how it's going to be. Um, we um, we haven't got three points Saturday. We thought it would be a great idea to go there in about four. I thought a point would be a good result down there, especially given the two teams proximity in the table. Back four wasn't really exactly an exhilarating performance, but, but actually it was, barring the first five, six minutes, comfortable enough to to get a point really um, and we had a few good spells but yeah one of those games you remember um, I guess that's why we all do football in it mm -hmm. the high and low within about 30 seconds but uh, Thursday was just about laughing it off really uh, and talking about being on the right side of that situation and waiting for that next moment to happen yeah and um, hopefully that next moment's today so referring back to Tuesday night then and 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 without sort of going into detail in regards to the team and I know you spoke yesterday about what did you mean by um, a sort of like a more of a, a sort of like a wanderers team and, and sort of patterns of attacking play and things like that this afternoon yeah well we, we, we need I mean football's a simple old game isn't it and like we haven't really scored a lot of goals but then when you look at the team we've been putting out they don't it doesn't really have goal scores in it so we've um, we're gradually getting these boys back playing again for every game they play they're getting fitter sharper we now see Rutherford that's probably 75% fit for the level. Um, Jason, who's had a long layoff, so again, probably 80%. These are two really dangerous players. We saw Jimmy Muir off the bench the other night, looking great with his forward plays. Charlie Carter's back in there today. You know, he's the sort of assistant goal king, really. That's what he yeah, does. Yeah. So in that, in that last third today, we've loaded it with boys um, that are going to hopefully create chances, make moments happen. Um, football's, it's, it's, football's different every game I think the other night off the back of that three points we was really happy to be stubborn I think here today if we get beat 3-2 we won't cry about it we need to start opening up a little bit in terms of going forward because we know we've got enough in us as a squad to win a lot of games so we just want to start concentrating on performances do you know what I mean and uh, Luke Gower's the only manager in British football who's better than me that's what I would say so I don't mind coming second that's in walk past. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, obviously as we're looking now, we can see the fans starting to come in at the uh, the away end as well. And I think there's going to be quite a few there. And you were quite strong with your messages um, yesterday as well. And um, hopefully we'll have a good following here today as well, Mark, and, and those making the trip up here as well at Boreham Wood. So um, final word from you just on the fans and everybody coming up here today. Yeah, it's, but also our fans are, uh, you know, largely incredible. Do you know what I mean? And... Uh, We've uh, we, all of us have had to put out a few fires of a few dickheads and stuff like that, you know. But it's one of those. On the one hand, you sort of think, look, it, you know that that passion everybody's got to want to win is, is great. That goes right through the club. On the other hand, you still want that little step back and hold on a minute. Are we really playing Oldham Athletic? Are we really out playing Oldham Athletic? Are we really beating Adifax Art Report? Their gaff, you know. Is this really happening to a team in Dawkins? I've seen messages from fans, and we get emails a lot. Saying I took my 85-year-old dad to a game. I got one the other day, the Oldham game, and he just said I never thought to see the day that a Dawkins team played Oldham Athletic. And yeah, you know, we have to pinch ourselves to, to, to be where we are, and we must keep the, you know, the positive vibe in a tough, tough league. We're still part time. We've got a lot of work to do, but you know what? We're committed to doing it. And I'll tell you one thing. I'll say now. Don't it make 16th last year look a good result? Mm -hmm. When you look at how tough this league is, yeah. to think we finished 16th, way clear of the zone. 10, 12 points outside the playoffs in our first season. When you look at all the other teams that, that are in this league now, it just shows how well we've done. Yep, OK. Thanks, Mark. Um, Cheers, we'll Blaine. catch you um, at the end of the game. Cheers, James.